click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about the complex data types in an object based databases. Now we will know first what is complex data types and then we will use the complex data types in of the relational schema and with some examples we will satisfy the need for the complex data types in relational schema. Now that we have used a simple attributes and values in the relational schema, say for an example when we considered the first normal form, the first condition were that every attribute should be atomic, that is not divisible. That means if the attribute is name, that cannot be parted into any of the other relations. So that the name cannot be have first name, middle name, last name. So name here we are suggesting with the first name. But what happens that we have name with the first name, middle name and last name, which is the real life scenario case. Now let us look at another example that is the address. The address being a part of the say 32 Laljipara Lalad Mumbai 400067. So altogether it forms a unique identification to the particular address field. But if we take the separate Laljipara 52 Mumbai and 67, then it will make the multi-value to it or it will make that every address field has not given any unique reference. The number of the street can be same, the street name can be same, the account number can be same and the zip code can also be same with other tuples. So the details of that particular attributes should be hidden from the user. So that is the main motto of a complex data type. A complex data type allows the composite data types, the multi-value data types and derived data types inside the ER model that we have represented. Like in the case of generalization and specialization, we will use this as a part of the integral relational schema. Let us look at this example. Now here in this relation, we can see that we have two books compiled as a networks with author array as a multi-valued attribute. See, there can be more than one author to a book, so we are giving them as an array, that is the Smith-Jones. Now the publisher is a combination of two of the fields, that is name and branch. The name is the Macro Hill publisher of NY branch and Oxford publisher from London branch. And the keyword set is being the parsing analysis and internet web. So here we have used an array, here we have used a combination or a set. Now you have used a multi-valued attribute. Now we can see that every part, the best way is to use a one-to-one -one denotion. That is a user interface to the object database. So the array in this combination is an implementation of an object-based data types, that is a complex data type. And now being in the relational schema, it will be known as multi-valued, derived, or composite attribute. Now the relational schema mainly deals with simple attribute as it is in 1NF. Now it is not obviously satisfactory to have the relation in 1NF. Even if it is in the 1NF, we can say that is not having all the other normalization form satisfaction. So the data redundancy still relies here because Jones is repeating in both the information of an author. Now we can say that we will compose of this relation and make it break into relations that will have atomic data types or attributes as well as have all other referential integrity constraint. So now let us decompose this first relation into other relations so that we can have redundant information reduced from it. So the first relation that we can make out of this is to author array. That means the author will be seen that there will be a position. Smith is in first position for compilers and Jones is in second position. That means who is the initiative writer and followed by the assistant writers. So now I am giving the compilers with the Smith with position one. Again the compilers with author Jones with position two. Now in this networks, 
we have Jones with position 1 and the Frick with position 2. So first I am getting the author array separated from the publisher and keyword set. So the relational schema will not become a redundant one while we make a database out of it. Now see that we also have the titles repeated which is the primary key of this author. So the title if is being the author or the primary key on the author's relation so it cannot happen because the compilers and networks are being repeated here. So that the need of the complex data type that we need a combination of an author array not being in the position but the array will show that Smithin in the first position and Johnson in the second position. Next relation we can derive from it is so for compilers, we have keywords parsing and analysis. So that will be a separate interrupt and input to that particular relation compilers. See, the keywords are the words that we can check for a book to look for another book. See, the compilers have keyword parsing and analysis. So if I want to fetch another book on the keywords parsing and analysis, we can by use of the keywords. Here also I have made title as the primary key, but it is repeating in two of the tuples of it. So I will also need a multi-valued attribute as a part of the complex attribute on an object-based database, while we cannot have it is in a relational schema. So here in this relation, our title is being the primary key, having the publisher name and publisher branch. So we can have this third relation as a first normal form, as well as in the second, third, and fourth normal form, all of this, because we are having this relation satisfying that the title being the primary key to the relation, because every book name is in new and it can provide the publisher name and branch name to it. Now, we can store this relation schema either in 1NF, but otherwise we could have used the object-based databases like the array and set structure. Now, say for another example, which joins two relation text and student. So there can be a many-to-many -many relationship student because many students can take many of the courses in the section. So now to join these two relation, we can have a set of codes for a student or a set of student for a course. Either of this one is valid. Now we've introduced a set to it. That means we are introducing a complex data type to actually solve and simplify a relational schema so that we can use it in an object-oriented paradigm. So that is all for complex data types. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.